Okay, next up, we are going to get into actually creating a LinkedIn profile and filling it out. So let's get over there and do that. I'm going to switch over to the screen here. And here we are. This is the blogger that we created in the last uh, video. And real quick, I should have done this in the last video. We'll do it now. We're going to bookmark it. Okay, just so we have it bookmarked and we can see where it is. And while we're at it, we'll bookmark access to the settings as well. All right, so now we got where we can go view the blog and where we can go to add new posts to the blog right there in our bookmarks. Okay, let's switch over and get into LinkedIn. All right, so I'm here at LinkedIn.com. Notice that it's asking me if I want to sign in with Google. And up here in the right corner, it is asking me if I want to continue as Daniel and sign in with Google. This is going to be where it actually works in your favor that you set up a Google account first and a fairly professional Gmail because we're going to go ahead and use that. So we will continue and notice it says to create your account. Google will share your name, email address and profile picture with LinkedIn. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to click on continue as Daniel and it's going to verify and it wants us to uh, create a password all right so let me see um, I'll create a password of my own Okay, and agree and join. And it wants a phone number. Now, it may kick me here. Because I've already used that phone number with another profile. Ah, no, it didn't. It's going to let me set up a second profile. All right, and it is texting me a code but first I'm going to save that uh, password that I just created for LinkedIn before I forget it I know this is taking me a minute here, but I've got to get this uh, done or I won't be able to get back in here later. And I'm also having to type out the Gmail address that went with that. Okay. Well, I'm entering the password now. So once I get this um, set, we'll be able to continue on. Okay, that is set. I'm going to go ahead and look for the text message that they should have been sending me. Let's 
let's see here. I've got it. All right. And I'll put that in. And then submitted. And I'm going to go ahead and save that to my Google profile. We'll go next. Are you looking for a job? Well, if you're watching this video, you may well be looking for a job. All right, and country, region, United States, etc. We're gonna go with that. I'm gonna go ahead and check. I'm open to remote work. And I'll go with IT technician for right now. Okay, and we'll go with that, and we'll go and put in my local. All right, and we'll go ahead and click next. Once they're going to send me job alert notification emails. If I leave these two switches on, we'll go ahead and leave that on because that'll save it. We'll share this with recruiters. And they want us to get the LinkedIn app. We're going to just click Next instead. Now, it's going to suggest some uh, people to connect with. I'm going to skip that for now, but you probably wouldn't because since this is a second profile for me, I don't want to confuse people by connecting with them um, through another profile. So I'm going to skip this part, but you probably would not. So I would say go ahead and hit plus on any of the, the people that show up here for you when you're filling in your profile. All right, I'm going to hit skip because I'm already connected through my real profile. Um, let's see if they want us to, you know, there's courses that we can um, take here. If I wanted to save these courses so I can find them easier later, there's, uh, you know, hashtags and titles and things that um, that I can you know, follow, um, let's see, maybe I'll find something IT-ish to follow. Let's see what they have here for, um, uh, well, let's follow job opportunities. And let's see. Uh, we'll save the communications foundations course and then we'll move on. 
you will probably need to pick things that are good for you. Um, now, we have all kinds of things here that we can do. Um, we also have um, a profile here, and you notice it's just a, a regular raw icon. It's not got a picture. This is not a good idea to leave this this way. All right, so I'm going to click here on me, and I'm going to click View Profile, and this is where I could actually start uh, setting up my profile. Now, there is um, something that comes in handy here. We're going to go to another website for a minute, and I'm going to search it on um, on uh, Google Search here. So all I have to do to search in Google is just type right here in the address bar when I'm using Chrome. Otherwise, I'd need to go here to do a Google search. But let's see. Um, social media image size sheet sheets okay This one's a little too too much of a pain. Here we go. This is a good one to have and let's uh, make a folder up here I'll call it tools so I'm going to add a bookmarks folder called tools there we go and then we'll bookmark this so we can come back to it okay and now here we go cover image they want 1584 by 396 pixels and profile photo 400 by 400. Well, I just happen to have a 400 by 400 profile fo uh, photo, so that's what I'm going to grab first. Or at least I'm pretty sure I do. Um, let's go to pictures. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, that works. That works just fine. Okay, we've got that. And then for a background image. Uh, yeah, they've got some pretty nice ones here that are, uh, yeah, I don't want to go with anything political. Um, let's not do that. Uh, I think we'll just go with my home office. For right now I could upload a, a photo or a custom image um, that's possible but for right now we'll just use my home office and there we go we've got something beyond a blank profile now when I go in in here I can add education and if you go into this it's really going to walk you through how to do this. Um, anything that you want to fill out here. So look for the pencils because that's where you edit things. Okay. And let's see. Um, we're going to add a profile section right now. It says open to work and I can edit that. Okay. And I'm going to add a profile section, and let's see. Additional. Projects, honors, and awards. 
causes right oh, let's go under recommend to add licenses and certifications all right so let's add that and add license or certification so we'll add the comp tia a plus and we'll put in comp tia just going to put that top one in and this is where it's going to be helpful to have the blog available so the issue date was um, May 3rd 2018 oops we'll go with May of 2018 expiration date is going to be Okay, here I'm going to put this code WK1R5C. All right, WFND4E. And QMGK. And then credential URL. Now this is where this comes in handy. I'm going to right click on the blog, blogger, on the picture on the blogger, and I'm going to copy image address. Okay. And then I will paste that in there. And it's wanting to tell me that I've exceeded the character maximum character length of 262 so it doesn't like that so let's see if I can select all and we'll do tiny URL Okay. Ah, the main band. Interesting. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm running into a little bit of an issue here. With that being banned from tiny URL, so let's see if we can use a different site. Bitly's another one. Fifty Bitly links in a, in a month. That should be plenty.
create my first link. All right, and so we've got a link here. We'll go ahead and copy it, and then we'll paste that in instead. And save it. And now, under License and Certifications, I can go in here and I can show Credential and notice that it pulls up my certificate so that people can see it right off of my LinkedIn profile. Okay, so there's there's a lot more here to do and there's always add profile section, etc. So you'd wanna look through here and you can click on add featured sections, uh, like add a featured section. We'll go ahead and skip that. Um, Add recommended sections, courses, add recommendations. This would be like on um, someone that you worked with giving you a recommendation. Um, you know, add courses that you've taken. And then, of course, there's all these additionals. Add publications that, you know, you know, blog posts that you've published, magazine articles that you've written, etc. Projects you've completed, honors and awards that you've gotten, test scores languages that you know, organizations that you work with. I'm actually seeing a couple of things in here that I might need to add to my actual profile as well. Okay, so it's going to take some time and, and work to do this. Uh, you're going to need to go through and do a lot of it uh, and, and get things up to speed. And you may want to come up with a more custom image here or use one of the defaults. I think that might be simpler for right now. But that's how you create a basic LinkedIn profile. Now, now that I've created a profile, all right, what I want to do is go over here to jobs. And now I can start looking at jobs online for, uh, from LinkedIn. And they're already showing me, you know, some type of job, some types of jobs recommended for me. And they really don't have enough information here to filter the jobs appropriately because I haven't really filled out um, my entire profile here. This is a new profile. If I were using my real LinkedIn profile, I would have quite a bit more relevant jobs showing up here under recommended for you and um, other, other stuff. And so um, I'd suggest that you spend a, a, quite a bit of time going through everything on here and getting it filled out, which is another reason for having all your information uh, gathered as much as possible in one document so that you have all that stuff, you can just come in here and copy and paste a whole lot of it. Get your image files ready um, for your certificate. So get your profile image um, ready to go. Uh, everything that you can possibly have done in advance, it'll save, it'll save you time when you come in here to do this. And you'll be able to use any of that later when you're actually applying for jobs. So that's it in a nutshell for creating a LinkedIn profile and I'm going to end up having to delete this profile but um, I'm hoping that this has helped you figure out ways to 
um, use free tools to maximize your job search capabilities. And you're going to need to do this with things like Indeed.com, ZipRecruiter.com as well. Um, you can start with LinkedIn first, though. And a lot of folks have this tendency to, I'm not going to create a LinkedIn profile until I get this, or I'm not going to create a LinkedIn profile until, until I got that. No. You want to create the LinkedIn profile and get as much information there as possible and get started because you never know when a job is going to come up. And as you get other things and other certifications, you just go in there and add them one at a time. I can go in there and add a certification to my LinkedIn profile, my actual one, anytime I want to. I can go in and add a course that I've taken. I can go in and add a new skill. I can take additional skills assessments. I don't have to do everything all at once. I can start with what I have and build on that. So the key point is to get started now. Okay. So I'd like to thank everyone for taking the time to watch this and I hope you find it helpful. And on that note, I'm going to say goodbye and we'll see you next time around.